Morning world, Zippy Trev here. It's, uh, it's a sunny day, but she's certainly a chilly one. Roll the intro. Hi, Zippy Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Right, our world, Zippy Trev here. So uh, it's been a few days. Um, I had a couple of days off uh, working up on the bus roof there. Uh, firstly, uh, Paul, riding Ruby over in the States, mate, I got your email a couple of days ago. Um, I didn't send you an email back. I sort of been waiting for it to arrive and just do a bit of an unboxing and so forth. So definitely got your email and uh, eagerly waiting for uh, delivery in the post box. So uh, anyway, so, and uh, and to uh, everyone else out there, um, still got stickers available. So if anyone's after a uh, knees and debris, Hippie Trev sticker, pretty easy. Just uh, send five bucks in a self stamped address envelope to Hippie Trev, 21 Tarn Street, bigger than 4621 Queensland, Australia and uh, I will drop a sticker in your letter and post it off to you. So yeah, it's pretty simple. They're just five bucks each. Five bucks a sticker, there they are. Five dollars a sticker. Uh, put five dollars in a self stamp address envelope and post it to me and I will send you a sticker back. So uh, right here, well, so I've been working on the, um, the bus for the last week or so forth. Um, had a day off yesterday, just wasn't up to it. Had the weekend off pretty much. And we've had some pretty cold days where I don't really like getting up on the roof unless I'm uh, in shorts, so that way I don't get caught or anything. So, but the boat's been sitting a long time. Uh, hasn't been started in over a week, hasn't been driven anywhere. And uh, I need to do a couple of little things. And I need to do a couple of, and I need to do a, just a couple of little things this morning just to get it back and uh, rolling again. Plus it's also been in the naughty corner, so I haven't touched it. Um, so what I'd like to do today, so uh, this rocker cover is actually leaking. I used the uh, old gasket that was on there uh, and this rocker cover is still actually leaking. I'm going to pull the rocker cover off today. And what I'm actually going to do is via a few suggestions is I'm actually going to measure the lift height on all my rockers on this side to see if I can find a shoot out load. Secondly, this is leaking. One of so in pulling this hose off the other week while working on here, I actually uh, broke something inside here because uh, now I have water dripping down here, which means my heater core in here is, absolute, is actually leaking. So I need to pull this heater box off, pull the heater core out and find exactly where the leak is. So uh, let's get onto that heater box out first before I do anything else. So basically uh, I'm gonna remove these two hoses they come down to here and then I'm gonna leave this one and I'm just gonna put a loop from this this line here, omit these. Yep, omit these two lines. So I've only just gonna run a, uh, a loop up from here, loop out of this jacket up into this one. So let's get it happening. That's the heater core bypassed. I think I can, I might be able to fix that here. So there's a kink in the hose here, but that actually doesn't matter because this doesn't really do much. It's already circulating through there. So that isn't really anything of a problem. Uh, okay, so my next job is, I need, I need to get this heater box out. Sun's in a prick of a fucking spot at the moment. In the cab, um, I think I've only got a couple of screws. Oh, yeah. Right now, so we're in the cab. Oh, the sun's just in a blast of a fucking spot. I can't see. I'm pretty sure there's only two bolts on the inside of here. Right. Right now, let's get upstairs. It's a lot of cold air to come into the car while I'm driving. I might have to blank them off.
Right, yeah. That's the heater box apart. There's our heater core. Now we've got to find out where it's leaking. And I think I've found a leak right there already. Shit. My needles. We need to test this in a bucket of water. Right now I'm back somewhat wet. Um, yeah, so I just put a tap on it and it's definitely leaking in around this crack here. I don't know whether I can solder that or not. Well. That's my heater core. I don't know if I can fix that myself using a blowtorch or not. Oh, I'll get done that. Right, anyway, well, I don't need to dry off and uh, get back to that one later. Okay, uh, now we really need to get into it. I need to get in, get this rocker box off and measure all the top of my rocker gear, gear and get this car started again. It's been too long. Right, right here well, so I'm gonna run these rockers over until they're at the height, lift height, and see if we can find any discrepancies. So, that's the exhaust valve open right there on number eight. That's at its level. Let's measure in, see what we got here. Touching. Oh, come on, right. That's the height of exhaust on number eight. Eighty one. Eighty one millimeters. Ready right, yeah. now. Let's close that. Let's get another belt right. So my inlet's in the opening on the back. That's at the tyres point. And that's a fair bit of difference, difference right there between my inlet and exhaust. Uh, that's a lot of difference. Different. That's exhaust on number on uh, number one pot on this side. Just a mill. Well, that's inlet. That's exactly the same. This one 
hasn't moved up or down. What the fuck? This rocker has not moved at all. Up or down. Okay, this rocker is not doing anything. It's not going up or down. No shit. That's tight as. Let's pull that off and have a look. I'm just going to tighten them back down again now. Right yeah. So, this rocker here has not moved. It's exhaust. Yep, exhaust. Right, so we've done a full revolution. This does not open or close. Holy shit, I suppose we should pull that spark plug out. Last time I pulled number two plug out, I snapped it. Everything looks all right. A little bit wet, a little bit black. This thing hasn't been started for a few days. Um, hopefully, it won't set fire to the Oh, better put my plugs back on. I'm gonna try and give this a start. It's gonna piss oil everywhere, but anyway, hopefully I won't set the whole thing on fire. Now, this hasn't been started for quite a few days, so I don't know how she'll start. Let's see how we go. <clears throat> oh, 
that started all right. There was definitely oil coming up. Definitely not much movement in this one here compared to everything else. I've got oil pressure. All right, there's a. That's not even turning. Oh. All right. All right. I don't know why she's revving so high, but anyway. All right. Get this fucking oil soaked shit out of here. Right our world, so that's our problem. Right there, let me get this oil out of here. I need some more brake cleaner. Right here, so number two pot on this side. The rocker isn't even open and closing. I guess we pull out, look for a bent push rod, maybe. I might have advanced the distributor back a bit too much too. She's running way too high. Bore scope will tell me anything. I don't think that push rod's bent. Right, so this there is no lobe left on that one. Fuck. Running our world, so I think we've uh, somewhat discovered the problem. Is uh, number two pot here? There's no cam lobe. There is nothing. There's no up, there's no, there's no up, there's no down, there's no fucking anything. I guess that is uh, the boat completely off, the, well, it's not off the road, but number two pot, cam lobe is completely worn off. All right, um, I've got to have a go at this heater box. I don't know how I'm going to do it. 
Oh, let's see if I've got enough torch left in me. Blow torch. Uh, heat this up, clean it up, heat it up, knock it in, heat it all up, and then drop some salt around there, and maybe I can um, finish it off. So, uh, righty, well, I'll get back to you when uh, I've got this ready to go. Later. Bye. All right. I'm just going to heat this up. Probably have a pair of pliers for that. Anyway. Get some of this old solder off. I've got a bit of this fluxy shit. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Put this on. Ow! That's hot! I don't know if that's going to work. I've got a stick of solder. Let's heat her up. See if I can get some solder into there. Let's seal this up. Bloody hell, solder's just run solder's just running off. Ow, fuck! It's hot. Okay. And it's not working. Or is it? Oh, shit, that's hot. Well, that's not working. I'm just wasting my solder. Wrong sort of flux, maybe? Ow, 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 hockey on the toes. Try something a little bit different here. And some of that might have taken up actually. All right, so I have this other, this other fluxy stuff. Make this shit work. All right, go. Now I don't have much solder left.
Ow! Shit, that's hot. This is just not sticking. That's just not fucking working. And that worked a bit better. Well, that obviously didn't work. I have to take this up to Bundy. Fucking breeze doesn't help. I don't think I can get this fixed. These hunk of solder in there, I've got to get out somehow. This thing's just about out of gas. Oh, fuck ya. Fucking cunt. Come on, fuck you, I'm nearly there.
Radio. It'll ever work or it won't. So that's my soldering job. Not overly that flash. But I think I've got soldering everywhere. So now we're just going to let that cool down. And I'll uh, pressure test it a little bit later. Right, well, so I think I might have, may or may not have fixed my uh, heater core. But it still leaves us pretty fucked when it comes to the car. So, this lifter is not going up and down. Um, that's a pretty good sign that the uh, cam lobe's gone. Uh, right here, world. Um, I'm going to throw this thing back together. I'll at least get it running again. Um, show you how you It's a fucking cam out again. Fuck it. Right here, world. Stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I will catch you later. Bye.